25 metres to go. Proud it is. Really turning on the style here. The rest, well, they're only trying to play catch-up. It's all about Proud trying to secure that third spot for the England team in the Commonwealth Games. Keep an eye on the clock. The time she's got to beat is 2.12.01. Here she comes. She has done it. And she really has established a very, very handsome margin. 15 metres to go for her. And the other two, Bancroft and Cranfield, despite coming from different disability categories, are uh, virtually stroke for stroke. But here comes the winner, and it's Gemma Almond of Shrewsbury. Let's have a look at her time. It's a personal best time for her. And he's now gone almost a body length in front of his nearest challengers. Ellis is the British record holder. And that British record is 61.94, held by Ellis for the S13 category. Now closing up in the, cl in the concluding stages is Rodgy in lane five, but it looks as though he's just gonna get it. It is tight on the touch, but uh, first home there is Ellis. So it's Lewinsky with the good start in lane four, heading the charge down the pool here. And behind there is a line chasing them, him down for silver. And lane five looking good. Matthew Shedd of Millfield School for the second spot. But Slowinski with that flyer all the way down the pool. Hits the wall first in 27.97. And that's a personal best time for Slowinski. But there's little to choose between them here. Lane three going well. Emmett Wilkins and also Georgina Hain from Ealing powering her way through. Looks like lane four is going to take it here. Georgina Hain. Let's just have a look at that. Yes, Hayne takes it from Ealing. Cracking start here by the swimmer in lane five, Owen Morgan. Morgan representing Box Hill Swimming Club. And that Welsh record is 22.85, held by Morgan. But he's under pressure here as they come up to the touch, three in the hunt. But on the touch, it goes to Craig Gibbons from Maxwell. Going strongly over there in lane three is Lowry Tynan who's on her way to Delhi for Wales and has already won a gold medal for the 50 here. But now stretching out and leaving the field behind is Kate Haywood. She's got to beat a time of 107.83. Let's have a look at that. Haywood 109.01. Lochran, based in Florida then, using that warmer climb to his benefit, hanging on to the lead, but he's coming under pressure here. Bennett's trying to close him down, coached by Doug Frost, representing Sterling ITC. Bennett and Lochran, stroke for stroke here. You can't split them into the final five. Who's gonna take it on the touch? Ryan Bennett gets it, 55.27. She's almost a clear length ahead of some of the competitors, so. We have to wait for that final 50 to be tidied up before we call out the result. But here comes Fredrickson. Her finishing time is 4.54.99. It's a good finishing burst, though, here by Oliver Hind, the 15-year-old from Nova Centurion. He's going to finish in the silver medal position here. That's if he scores enough points. Goldsmiths first, S13 category and 792 points. Hine coming in for second, 686 points. Kaylee Dawson still lying in fourth position, but here comes the winner, Sasha Matthews, PB of five, uh, 8.34.50. Uh, finishing time, there it is. Matthews finishes 8.40.43 for the gold medal. Now then, are they going to be going well enough to equal the time? 4.17.24 is the required time. They're not going to do it. It's going to slip away. Halffield comes in from the city of Cardiff to take it in 4.19.14. 15 to go. Craig Rogie is going to be the winner here. 20 years of age, representing Carnegie. Rogie finishes now in 2.09.05. A good time, 857 points for him. 25 to go. No change in the positions behind, so the silver is going to go to Lucy Chenery in lane five. But here comes the winner in lane four. Put your hands together for Stephanie Bird. She's going to win the gold medal into the concluding five. Here she comes. Bird touches now. Finishing time, 230.07. Gives her 720 points. Chenery will get the silver.